Hello there, it's Jazz and welcome to today's video. Uh, it's going to be a review on the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. You can see my ring light in the reflection, so I'm going to open the palette so you can see the colors. These are the colors. Uh, it's a really pretty palette. And I don't know, I really like the color story. It has a lot of warm tones, a lot of cool tones. Uh, really beautiful shimmers and metallics and just everything. So how today's video is going to go, basically, I'm going to leave the review for the end. First, I am going to create a look using a random number generator. So these shadows in the back, they have numbers. They are 40 shades. So they're numbered 1, 2, 3 until 40. So in a random number generator, I am going to randomly let this generator pick out five shades for me, five numbers that correspond to shades here. I'm going to try to create a look using these five um, eyeshadow colors. And then after creating a look, and I hope it's going to be a presentable look uh, at the end, after doing my full makeup, I am going to talk a little about the palette. If you're not interested in seeing uh, the little random eyeshadow thing part, you can skip to the end. I'm going to insert a timestamp in the description. You can skip right through to the review at the end. Okay, so I have the number generator on my laptop and I have a little notebook here. I'm going to write down the numbers and then I'm going to find out which eyeshadows they correspond to. So let's do this. Okay, so we have our five numbers here. I did not cheat, I promise. Um, 11, 20, 18, 33, and 37. So I'm gonna swatch these five eyeshadows here on my hand. I added a little bit of primer because as I'm gonna mention in the review at the end, these don't swatch very well um, on, the, on the arm but they apply really well on the eyelids. So swatches on the arm or on the hand could be a little bit misleading. I don't know why. Okay, so shade number 11 is third from the second row. Okay, it's a really pretty metallic um, silver shade. I'm gonna add it. Okay. This is the shade 11. And then we have number 20. Uh, 20 is fourth one. Oh. oh, it's my favorite shade in the entire palette is this green metallic shade, but I don't know if it really matches the silver one. Yeah, okay, interesting. And then we have 18, let's see. 18 is second one. Why are they all shimmers and metallics? Okay, so we have this brown kind of iridescent shimmer. It kind of, it really matches the, the green shade. Oh, hi kitty. It really matches this shade. So these two really go well together, but the first silver one, I don't know about that. Okay, so then we have 33 and 37. These should be like down here. 33 okay oh no oh no no <laughs> it's this super dark purple plum shade oh my god no oh no okay this swatch is a bit chalky but like i said swatches are misleading with this palette yeah this is gonna be one interesting eyeshadow look and then 37 let's see it's Okay, this kind of copper shade. So yeah, these are the random shades. Uh, I can see a look happening with these three shades and maybe this one, I can make it work. This one, I might just add in my inner corners. I don't know, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with these. But let's get started. Not to make this video too long and I don't want you guys to get bored, I'm gonna skip real quick through my face makeup and my eyebrows makeup. I'm gonna skip to 
the eyeshadow part real quick. Okay, so I'm done with my complexion and my eyebrows. I also uh, concealed my under eye and my lid. And now it's time to get into the eyeshadow. And I still have no idea what I'm gonna do with these shades. I need a minute to process like the, the placement of the shadows of what I'm gonna do with each shade. Of course, not every single one of these shades is gonna end up showing brightly because I mean, I want this shade to be like the center of attention because it's my favorite shade in this entire palette. So just, just give me a minute to think about it. Okay, so first of all, I just realized that I don't have any matte shades except this really dark purple one. So I don't know how I'm gonna do like my crease and like I don't know where to begin. So I'm just gonna begin with this one and I think I'm gonna do Halo Eye. If you guys don't know already, Halo Eyes are my favorite, my favorite shape of eyeshadow and my go-to eyeshadow. So I'm gonna try to save the day doing Halo Eye. First, packing this packing this shadow onto the edges. Oh, it's a bit darker than I thought. That's the problem with the swatches with the Utopia palette. Like it swatches really light, but then it's actually much more pigmented on the lid when you apply it on the lid. So anyway, I'm just gonna pack this color and then I'm gonna buff it out. Uh, a clean brush, I'm just gonna buff out the edges. Just trying to create a base. I really don't know where I'm gonna add this dark purple, but most probably I'm gonna add it right here to the outer corner, but I want the base to be kind of brown. I don't know. As you can see, it blends really, really well. I'm gonna take this shade a little bit higher up because then when I add the purple, I want this to peek through, kind of. I think it will match the purple kind of well. I have created multiple looks using this palette, but I don't remember using this particular shade that I'm using right now. But it's kind of, it's cute. Um, I thought it would be a little more iridescent, but it's not. It's just a simple shimmery brown and on my skin tone, it's just a neutral shade. I'm trying to darken it up a little because it's too neutral. And I want to have a little bit of a darker base to add the purple on top. Okay, I think now it's time to add the purple. I'm not very sure about this. I want to add the tiniest amount of the purple to, be, to, to, to begin with because the purple is also a shade that I haven't used before and it's swatched a bit chalky. So, I'm gonna see. Just packing a very small amount and then with the same fluffy brush, I'm gonna try to blend it out. Okay, it blends very, very well uh, and it's not that that harsh of a purple. I really love how this purple turned out with the brown underneath, they blended really well and it didn't come out as a super harsh purple like this one, like I did not want this color to show that much and I'm glad that I managed to achieve that. Why is my left eye always so difficult to work with? It's like, I'm using the shade, I'm using the shame. Shame, <laughs> it's a shame. I'm using the same eyeshadows, the same exact brushes, but it looks completely different on my right eye. It looks so pretty on my right eye and then on my left eye, it's just like bleh. And it happens every single time. <sighs> I don't know. Um, I'm really, really liking what is happening here. The shades are really pretty. However, I feel they're kind of too cool toned for the green I'm about to apply right now, but we're gonna see how it turns out. Now it's time to add the green to 
the middle of the halo eye. I'm gonna add just some setting spray. What is this? What? What? I've used this shade before. This is not how it performs. Okay, I think this particular shade does not need setting spray. It's better to use my finger. There we go. Okay. Last time I used it, I used my fingers and the shade, the payoff is just so incredibly pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm actually really happy that this shade came up in the generator because, I mean, it's my favorite shade and I was scared that it wouldn't come up and I wouldn't be able to use it. Now it's the time to add some more of the purple to darken up the edges, the inner edges and the outer edges. I'm using the fluffy brush that was empty before, now I added the tiniest amount of this purple shade. And I'm buffing it out, smoking it a little bit. I'm taking the color also a bit above the green because I don't want it to be just like the green abruptly ending. I want like to buff all the shades to look like pretty together, blend well. Okay, so far I've used this shade as a base and then this shade on my outer and inner corners and then this shade in the middle. I still have this. I Probably this is just gonna go uh, in my inner uh, corners as a highlight and I still have to use this one and I have an idea for this. I want to buff out the purple using this and then adding it to my lower lash line blend out the purple nicely something is compelling me to add this shade right between the green and the purple but i don't know if i should be doing this i'm gonna add a little bit more green because i want it more vibrant I'm gonna do this experiment. I'm just gonna add this copper in like in between the green and the purple. Oh, doesn't even look that bad. On both sides. It gives a really nice um, gradient effect in between the green and the purple. Like the super super final touch is adding uh, this silver to my inner corners. Okay, I would never pick this shade with the rest of them. I don't know. Does it look that bad? Probably. But I guess it's the only place I could add the super shiny silver shade. Now I am going to add lashes real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been experimenting with false lashes for about a month and a half now, two months. And I don't feel that false lashes are for me. I don't feel they match my eyes. I've tried many different brands, many different eyelash shapes. I've cut them smaller, I've left them bigger. I've tried really natural ones, really crazy ones. And I just don't like how my eyes look. I feel that false lashes take away a lot of the eyeshadow look, charm, whatever. I don't know. I'm gonna keep experimenting with this. Maybe I'm, I'm probably doing something wrong, but I just, I'm not feeling it. Okay, now let's do my face makeup real quick because we still have the review. <laughs> Oh 
Okay, I like how the face is going. You guys, London is really my favorite nude of all time. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna add the gloss on top. This is the finished look. Actually, after doing my face makeup and my lipstick, I feel that the look really came together nicely and I really enjoyed this random eyeshadow thing. I would love to do it again. Please let me know if you would like to see it on camera because I'm definitely doing it off camera if you guys don't want to see it. I had so much fun because this palette is so, so versatile. It has so many different shades, 40 different shades. Imagine how many different combinations you can come up with so many eyeshadow um, shades. Okay, so now it's time for the review. Hello to those who skipped through the tutorial and you're now here for the review. Okay, so this is going to be a quick review. I'm not going to go into the details of like the ingredients and everything. I'm just going to talk about the shades, the formula, the wearability, blendability and everything. Uh, first off, the shades are magnificent. And NYX has come out with sim with similar, I mean like big palettes, but the shades never really speak to me. They were all very kind of basic shades and I have other palettes that have like these basic neutral shades. But what I loved in this particular one is that you have so many options, both warm tones and cool tones. I really love these three rows here that are completely like neutral tones and here are many, many warm tones. The colors, as you can see, we don't have many crazy shades. Mostly the shimmer glitter ones are the more crazy ones, but all of them are very wearable. This is what made me buy it. I was like, okay, this is something I could use every single day. I could do a very simple morning look to go to work or run some errands or whatever, something really neutral, like the no makeup makeup look. I could do something really nice for a night out. I could do something really glam. Um, there are many matte shades, but there are quite some metallic shades and there are some glitter shades, like my favorite one, this green right here and this one right here and this one. These three are almost like pressed glitters. I don't know how to describe the formula. It's very rich. The payoff is amazing. If you saw how I created this look, this green one came out so pretty. Right now the eyelashes are completely hiding. What a beautiful shade this green one is. Very, very pigmented. And these other glitters are the same thing. The metallic ones like this one and these right here are also very pigmented, but they don't have this super shiny, shocking effect uh, of the glitters. The matte shades are super smooth. They blend like a dream. And there's this one shade right here and it's so pretty. It looks matte, but when it hits the light, I don't know if you can tell, it has the tiniest little shimmer. It is just magical. I'm gonna try to swatch just this one shade. I hope it will show on camera the magical effect. I'll swatch it right here. Like It looks matte, but it's not. It has these little glitter effects. Like It's like the perfect princess shade. It's so, so, so magical and pretty. So yeah, I forgot to mention that this one right here is also like a glitter formula, like these three that I mentioned before. We have this cool toned one as well. So we have this beautiful bright green, a gold shade, this kind of um, champagne bronzy shade, and this beautiful silver shade. These are just amazing. They're gonna take the eyeshadow look to a whole other level. Uh, so yeah, that's what I have to say about the formula. It's amazing and swatches are very deceiving. Like these swatches right here I did for this makeup look. I added primer underneath. And again, when you see these swatches, you will not understand how amazing the payoff is. It just does not do it any justice. 
at all. You're gonna have to add the shadows on your eyelid to actually see the effect, how easily they blend, how pigmented they are. Now the wearability, I always add concealer underneath and then setting spray on top and these shadows stay on for hours and hours. They can stay on for all day. They do fade after like six to seven hours, but they don't melt. They just kind of fade in intensity. So you can still see a pretty beautiful eyeshadow look. It's just a little bit more toned down in pigmentation and intensity. And I find that this is a very beautiful effect. Now the price is kind of steep considering it's NYX but you get 40 shadows and the quality of these shadows is much better than any other NYX eyeshadows I've tried. I have uh, one of the mini full throttle palettes which is okay and I have a single shadow which was not pigmented. Uh, so NYX shadows were not my favorite. And I was scared when I got this palette. I got it because of the beautiful shades, but I was kind of scared of the formula and the price was kind of too high. But the formula ended up surprising me. It's much better than any other NYX eyeshadow formula that I've tried. So this is a very good palette. I highly recommend it if you love playing with shadows, if you use makeup, often because it's a big palette so yeah that's all i have to say i'm really happy with it i'm so glad i purchased it i'm gonna insert now some pictures of other makeup looks i did using this palette most of them are simple daily looks this is the first kind of a little extra look i did using this palette and i cannot wait to play with it again i hope you enjoyed this video i hope my review was of some benefit to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.